feel like whenever it skips like that, I get a little nervous. It makes you a little anxious. Like, ooh, you know, I... Get that little rumbly in your yeah, tumbly. Yeah, it's like, ooh, what? Wait, what are you doing, computer? What oh, are you doing? Oh, boy. You only have, like, what, 40% CPU usage? You got a whole 60 to go. Look out. All Boom. right, guys, welcome to Testing Normal, episode 33. So, oh, <laughs> my phone audio's on. I haven't done that in a few episodes. Yeah, it's still, you do it too much, uh, I'd say. I, you know what? People have come to expect it now. Our, <laughs> our, uh, our audience has been like, oh, we were missing that Jordan did that so much. Well, this is Curtis. And this is Jordan. And this is a podcast where we talk about <laughs> anything and everything that we want to. Yeah, which, which, we want to. which we just opened with. We we yeah. proved that. Oh. We did. Oh, it's, dude. It's been a crazy week, man. Has it? Yeah, it's been super busy. I feel like it's been it's been simultaneously crazy, but yet by saying that I feel like I'm a, I'm a little bit lazy in saying that. Like R- What do you mean? I don't like, understand. Like that. I don't think it was that hard. Like it might have been for me at least. It's like, yeah, I would always say, yeah, it's been a, it's been a crazy week. Oh, okay. But but know. really, but dude, aren't you uh, doing like a remodel on your house? Haven't you been putting in uh, yeah. some the, floors? What, did you do that floors, much this week? Uh, I did a little bit this week. I got yesterday, I actually got all the way down the hallway, like the starting line. Okay. So I've got like the almost the length of the house done and now I'm, I'm working my way through it. But I've, I have uh, enslaved my two youngest children in the project and they bring me boards I actually just have to nail things down most of the time and cut things. I, I don't trust them with table saws and chop saws. Yet. Yeah, that's a good call. But um, most of the time, all, I don't I even have to refill the nails in my nail gun. That's fantastic. They just walk behind me and go, oh, Dad, you need more nails. <laughs> yes. Perfect. So, dude. That makes it fun. How's my saw been for you? A dude. It's a dude. ridiculous. A lot of dudes. Yeah. I'm I, a dude. I, He's uh, a dude. She's a dude. It's, yeah. I, I, f- I didn't think that I would say that I like table saws as much as i do now yes you never realize the true value of a table saw until you have a big and that, project what's that that little cuttery thingy tool yeah it's an oscillating tool it's also called like a oscillating oscillating <laughs> yeah oscillating i've always had multi-purpose to take, tool i've always had to take the trim off the doors and then and then trim them and then put them back on and this tool that so unnecessary Curtis loaned me you just like draw a line and just like and just like chops the bottom off like yeah through vibration although i will say the boards that i have it it smokes a lot and it's kind of scary well okay so um the key to that is knowing how much pressure i feel like it did with no matter what pressure yeah it it just it's an interesting it's an interesting challenge because you if you push too hard with this super fast kind of has uh teeth on the end of it kind of metal bar if you push too hard, it'll heat up quicker. Yeah. If you don't push hard enough, it, it won't cut, cut it as fast. Yeah. yeah. So it's an interesting kind of like you have to find it is, that it's right. It's a delicate sweet spot. dance, and you're on the ground, you know, like against the floor. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Upside it, down. It, it, beat, it beat having to pull them off the wall and do it. And totally. It, and I think I've actually I should have just brought it tonight because I'm I think I'm done with it. So. Um, uh, but it's been fun. It's been been a fun little tool. A good little project. Table saw was redonk yesterday. Made my job way easier so hopefully more tomorrow that's the plan i had a birthday today Ooh, six-year-old turned seven Fantastic. youngest kid we have so does that feel a little bit like wow that's the last six-year-old we're ever, we're ever gonna have like because now I mean, you're to the point where yeah that's happening with a lot of things a lot of things yeah. i guess yeah i don't know but it, it was more for for my wife yeah i think that which is sense. understandable but yeah yeah i, I still call him little like no, you can't do that. You're too little, and he hates that. So yeah. I've always got that on. Oh yeah, I have a daughter who's almost well. She's five and a half. Yeah. And you're not allowed to call her cute. Oh. Yeah. Already. Like, Don't. I'm not cute, Dad. I'm beautiful. <laughs> Whoa, little Ooh. girl, little girl. If my son said that to me, I'd be like, okay, we need to have a talk. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> if it's my boy, yeah, it's different. But like with a little girl, like she wants to be beautiful. She doesn't want to be like cute because cute's just like a baby. Yeah. You know. And I don't she, know. I have nieces, but I don't have any daughters, so I don't. When yeah. people start talking about daughters, I'm like, Ugh, I don't. I really don't have any type of advice for you. It it, <laughs> it sounds really hard. Um, it sounds way more emotional than the experience that I go through. For most, for the most part, yeah. There's definitely emotions involved, but I'm, I mean, to be real, my little boy is pretty emotional, also. <laughs> this is true, and but it, it's a different way. Yeah, yeah. So it's it, he doesn't. So like, here's a great example. We went my uh, sister this week, who I want to give big congratulations to, got Woo-hoo! married this week. Woohoo, Austin and Angela! To our you guys. last week's guest. Yeah, yeah, that's right. 
Um, and they had a really unique situation with their wedding. Wh- they decided that? to have a sunrise wedding oh. in a beautiful area called Smith Rock, Eastern Oregon, yeah. east side. Um, I love that place. Yeah. Super, cool. super, super cool. However, the wedding, we I think I got there at like 6.45 a.m. My goodness. And what time was the sunrise? the kids got there at like... like they, didn't, they didn't do it at sunrise then. Yeah. It, well, so interesting enough, it's because it's kind of sunk down into a gully, a valley, oh. and there's this large rock face behind Smith Rock, like a big kind of right, right, right. cliff face. Um, the sunrise doesn't hit until like 8.00. Maybe the sun doesn't hit the actual face of, of the oh, actual weird. most of Smith Rock to like eight or a little bit before eight. Yeah. Um, so we were starting the ceremony at like seven thirty, seven forty five. So for the first forty five minutes, it was just freezing, like forty eight degrees or something like that. Wow. And I was supposed to play the ukulele, so I I practiced, I dabbled a little bit in the mm-hmm. uke, the old uke, and <laughs> uh, played a little. Um, I listened to that guy, Cannon and D. That, that did over the rainbow uh-huh. like that oh the really overweight guy yeah he was a fantastic dude i love that song i sat there and was like why, why do i like this so much well i think there's something appealing about him being morbidly obese and singing a sweet song well the story behind and being it, in a lay to like rabbit trail even further from your because remember i still gotta tell you what, i know i know like boys and girls <laughs> is, so it was cute is uh he did it in one take like he called the recording studio at 3 a.m what? and they were like okay we'll meet you there they did a sound check one take, that's the song he did, and it was done. Get out of town. No. Isn't that crazy? Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure he'd practice before that moment. But anyway, back to you. 8 a.m. sunrise. 8 a.m. Smith Rock. Freezing cold. Freezing so cold. I was trying to play the Canon in D. Yeah. And as I was changing chords, it felt like there was like five pound weights on each of my fingers because they were frozen. And I was oh, like, oh, yeah. Duh. God, you get knocked there with a, a lighter. The pace. Trying to. Yeah. Warm your hands up. Yeah. I hadn't just blowing hot air on my hands. <sighs> <sighs> You're like, normally this would really annoy me, but it's super helpful this morning. Yeah, super helpful. <laughs> um, so, anyways, it was a unique wedding. It was very cool. It was very pretty. It had a beautiful backdrop. Yeah, you sent me one um, picture of it. Not bad, right? Yeah, it was cool. Not bad. Did you show Haley? Yes. What'd she say? Did. She's like, oh, that's cute. Oh, that's so cute. And we, we both just love Austin. I yeah. mean, we love Angela too, but. Um, of course. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, boys are better, But we so. knew her already. <laughs> yeah, right. He was new right, to right, the mix, right, right. so. <laughs> so anyhow, um, we were driving home from the wedding Your and mom's on. Hi, Lowe's. Hey, Lowe's. And I was asking about um, my little boy. I was asking him, I'm like, Knox, um, someday, you know, uh, or I was like, Knox, did you have fun? Do you, do you want to, do you want to get married someday? And he goes, no dad, I'm a boy. I don't want to get married. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, okay, society. All right. <laughs> and then, no, but that's the crazy thing. Like we don't, ever encourage him in any way shape yeah, or form yeah, yeah. this was nurture for him oh i know it's funny or no n- nature yeah and uh and then for uh my daughter we were driving and he uh, her brother wasn't with us and i was nolly i was like nolly did you have fun she's like Dad, it was so amazing i could just cry oh my gosh and i was like wait <laughs> the daughter, polar what? difference yeah i was like, like the- sweetie <laughs> why do you why would you want to cry she's like i'm just so happy for angela i'm like what <laughs> you are so oh mature at such what a little earth. woman i so it was like the different the contracts of my little boy who sat through the wedding was like i don't want to do this i'm a boy yeah and my little girl who was like crying at six already because she's just was so beautiful oh my goodness like, oh, it stresses me out it stresses me out i don't want my little girl to have those th- expectations i don't know maybe that's wrong to me i just those girls st- plan their wedding from like birth yeah it's really, really, really a trip. Like, they just, not all girls, obviously, not all no. boys are the same. But, but generally I, speaking, generally speaking, like, it's incredible how a little girl can be so excited about a wedding so early on. Right. And, like, have so much emotional investment in it. And for, like, little boys, and this is kind of a sad thing because, like, when I got married, I for sure didn't recognize the importance of it to my wife, at least to the degree that it was. Right. And I know, don't know that even knowing, even looking back, you would know. Like, because mm. you can't, you're not feeling those feelings. I think, well, like, you know, it's more, this is why you're like, to what level? I this don't is know. why though. I feel those feelings now because I have a daughter. Oh, My yeah, daughter I don't is have what, that. yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's true. Like you can't understand the capacity of love until you have a kid. Yeah. You know, so to understand the capacity of the importance of a wedding until you have a little girl for it's the true. little girl, it's, it's yeah. just not the same. Oh, I know one of my sons, he's like, deter- he's like, I don't want to get married. I'm like, really? Like, it's not that he doesn't like girls. 
He thinks they're fine people. Yeah, he's just like he just he's bro. like you know. He's like and his original reason. He just wants is, to play the court. That's all. He right? was like no no no. He was like four or five. He wants to be a foster dad. Okay. But he wants to be single. Is that a thing? What? A foster? Are there single foster men? I don't. know. I've never heard of I that. Think if there's like a shortage of foster parents. So I would think that if you passed everything, they. I mean, I've heard of foster moms, just straight up mom, but I've never heard of a foster straight up dad. I think I have. At least it's probably not as common, but because mm-hmm. I think most. You know, generally speaking, most men don't have a high like nurture drive, right? On their own, at least right. they, they do with a you know a, a partner that that gives them help. But yeah. like they don't, they wouldn't necessarily go out of their way to right. to do that. And I just don't know if society would allow it. I think it would. It'd I think it would be now. A probably not a while back. Anyway, so he's his original reason, like at four or five, I can't remember how old he was. He said um, he he wanted to remain single so that he could cross the street. Yeah, by himself. Yeah, like he he was like, stressed about like, how many people well, that, he would have to bring across the, the street. No, that he would make he could make that decision to cross the street. He thought getting married would limit his decision. Like he knew at a kid's age, he could he had to and ask. He had to his ask wife. But if he got married, he would also have to. And then also, so he must have seen at some point your wife tell you you're not allowed to cross the maybe, street. Maybe, or he just like associated <laughs> that. Like he's like, well, maybe he's one of her sons too. You know, because it's just all boys. And then also was so that he could go out to A&W whenever he wanted to. Mm, now that, that makes sense. That actually, that logic might actually follow. Sure. The first one, not so much. Yeah, yeah. sure. That's so crazy. That's so crazy. Because I'll be honest, like my wife tonight was like, um, when are you leaving? Like, and... To go to podcast? She's like, yeah. Like, why do you want me to leave? I have stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not like, that I want to get rid of you, but I want to get rid of you. Like, okay, whatever. Hey, none taken. None so taken. I crossed the street on my own and I'm married. So there you go. Good job, dude. Dude, speaking yeah. of, uh, you know, asking permission or doing something without asking permission. Oh, gosh. Um, I read some of the headlines to some of your stuff. So great. Here we go. So cool. Um, but also terrifying. Um, so really interesting situation occurred. Um, it's upon weird a, getting texted by your kids. And yeah, that is interesting. I'm being texted by my son right now. Tell him. Stop. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Clean some. Doing stuff you're not supposed to. So. It kept popping up in front of my video. This uh, American Airlines flight. Yeah. This last week on September 18th, when Wednesday, was Wednesday. en route from Atlanta to Fort Lauderdale and plunged a little bit over 30,000 feet. Isn't that the ground? Well, they must have been at like 35 or I 30, hope. 32 or something like that. I think they were at 28. Um, and the, like the complete, all the circumstances around why they did it at like a rapid, rapid pace. So they did it and they, they cleared that distance in a, in a matter of like several minutes. It was like, it was like. So would you be weightless? 10 minutes or something like that. Like if they, someone had taken off their seatbelt, well, would you be weightless? That's no, how because that. I think you have to be at the arc of like not going down completely, but not going up yet completely. You have to be like at the top of the bell curve. No, because they can do it for like two and a half minutes with some of the bigger planes. Oh, that's true. So it's when you're, you're, the plane falls at the rate that yeah. you would fall. Right. So they were going faster because their engines were still on. Oh, geez. So they were going fast because apparently there was, and this is what they're theorizing because they haven't released all the details yet. But apparently they suspect that there was a significant loss in cabin pressure. Oh, yeah. That would do it. And You don't want to you don't yeah. passing out pilots. Yeah. Well, that was that was an interesting thing I was reading about. Um, so the pilots, apparently they have um, uh, about an hour of air oh, okay. in their oxygen masks, yeah. which I feel like should be more. I you know, I would suggest right? more. I mean, you got a big plane. You probably could carry more. It just doesn't make sense why it's only an hour. But... Um, the uh, I'm with you on that. The passengers only have about 12 minutes. What? Yeah, I had no idea. Passengers only had about 12 minutes of oxygen available. Seriously, that's great. That's that's just like that's that seems like a lot needs to happen in 12 minutes potentially. Mm. But I mean, it's all about elevation. So if they get down to a point where their elevation is significantly lower and they are able to depressurize so, but, the plane, then they should have point, oxygen, right? Yeah, was, they shouldn't have had to go, get that low if that's all it was. Well. I don't know exactly. I mean, anything below like 10,000 feet would Yeah, be I would fine. think 10, maybe. Yeah. Because I mean like. 10. 10 would be fine. Hike yeah. in the South Sister. It's yeah. A, it gets up to what, yeah. 12, 13. Adams is four. Well, even. Yeah, you'd want to get below 14 probably. Probably like Right. 12, yeah, the air is maybe. definitely thinner there, but it's not 30,000 feet thin. No. Huh. But can you imagine being in a situation where you go from 30,000 feet and in a matter of, you know, a minute or two, you're at. 
ten thousand feet. What would what would be going through your mind? And the Cause, people, because the, the, you're someone that wants to be in control. Yeah, and you're just you're in a giant p- flying. Well, anytime I get on a plane, though, I have to l- completely give up control entirely. True. So do you just like void your bowels right there, like you just give up all control? Interesting. Interesting. I mean, <laughs> that's. If I have to think about like, am I gonna <laughs> die right now? I mean, everybody has those thoughts. Everybody's imagine. Okay, am I gonna die in this moment? I think. If it's a situation, this is an interesting question. If yeah. it's a situation where I feel like I have a matter of control to be able to get out of it, yeah, I'm not thinking of anything other than how do I solve this problem? This Survival, exact yeah, right. Like now. when I used to longboard, don't go down. Yeah, when I used to do so such 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 stupid things on oh, longboards, man. like some of the hills, I would go down really really fast, really really long without helmets sometimes. Oh yeah, and when I was when they didn't I even would catch a wobble yet. or something like that. Yeah, it was before helmets. Um, I would just instinctively think okay well not inst- well yeah what what is the little adjustments i need to be doing so i'm not thinking about like you know what am i gonna yeah but you're in this? control of that but and that's because i'm in control when i'm not in control though uh, my thoughts go to ahead of time i'm thinking okay if i die okay this is where i'm at nothing i can do about it okay let's just do yeah. it um but if it was a comp- i mean i can't i don't know i haven't been in that type of situation where i've been like death staring at death uncontrolled yeah have you oh yeah uncontrolled well yeah well, like when i when i fell out of that oh yeah shoot like did i had it a few seconds to think yeah and what were your thoughts well, there wasn't a lot i could do here i was, I was like um i were think I, I think i I'm prayed for a second and then i was like going through like oh this is this is interesting and there wasn't really ever really much fear because it was a it was a given like mm-hmm. i'm well, we're in. We're doing this. <laughs> and uh, what was your approximate height? Uh, it was uh, probably like between 40 and 60 feet. And it was your chute was not opening. No, it was open. Or what was it? it? Just, all the air got sucked out of it. And why? Because so, someone else happened? went underneath me and, and, okay. took, and took my lift. Okay. So it just went completely loose and I okay. just free fell. Gotcha. Yeah. It's probably about four. Do the military chutes stories. have handles? That allow you some to, of them do, but move. the ones we were training with, you don't. You just have, you have these ropes that you can pull, mm-hmm. and you can kind of they call it slipping. You can't twist, mm-hmm. um, but you can you can left right slip. a little bit. You can do slip left right forward backward diagonal. Like you you can go all directions. You just pull that side down. Okay. To give you know to kind of dive that way. Okay, gotcha. Um, but there wasn't any amount of that. As soon as it as soon as it gave way, I was yeah. like my hands went like this. Because they were on the ropes and the ropes just lost all their lift, so my hands just dropped to my side, and I was like, oh, "That's bad." <laughs> like, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> There's no weight here. <laughs> that's something supposed to be tugging back. There's on no this. drag. Yeah. Yeah. That's so freaking that was terrifying. Yeah, but so, anyways, you landed, you broke your back, and I ran, and you ran to wherever you were supposed to go after yeah. your back was broken. Yeah, but I, ran, I actually well, ran to the ambulance while you were falling. Though <laughs> there was no thoughts of like, um, okay, like flashbacks or thinking about like when not, i was younger not really no you know, that it was just stuff. like a oh i guess this is how it yeah. happens <laughs> i think my i think i would imagine my thoughts would go to my, my family probably depending on how long i had like my kids my wife thinking about how long yeah maybe if i had more time yeah if i had like two minutes which can be an eternity dude when you're fall, i can't even free-falling. imagine what two minutes would feel like of that like yeah. i only had a few seconds to deal with and my goodness it'd like, be cruel yeah it is and then what's funny is like they all they come out of it. But so I just say I didn't read this article. And, it, I would it'd be interesting though. Did they like tell them along the way like hey? No, I mean there was like little communication because I mean they were losing from what the experts were saying. Yeah, is they believe that they were using losing cabin pressure immediately, and so like the descent and everything, the the shoots masks coming out so quick the pilots were putting their masks on right i don't think they told them before they started their dive they may have told them while they're in the dive at some point but i don't think that and also i don't know if they have mics no they have to have mics to, to, the pilots have to be able to speak to the, each other still so the masks should have ma- uh, uh, mics it, on them it's yeah it says here that the second step of the procedure is to establish intercom communications between the two pilots through the mic systems okay. in their masks yeah there you go um then the third procedure is to ensure passenger oxygen. Right. So did these people get oxygen as they were falling? Yeah, that was what they're saying. They dropped the masks um, really? to the... They're like, oh, no, I didn't Because there was some type of... Yeah, they think the air pressure lo- lo- was lost. 
anyway, the, 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 the struggle in there. Yeah. Um, that's cool, man. So that's crazy. Yeah. I think I would probably just say, okay, I have no, nothing I can do here. So speaking, up. speaking of, uh, of that, like that life or death, what yeah. do I do? All that kind of stuff. Did you hear, this mm. was last week. A friend of mine sent me a link to a couple that was hiking and they were hiking on father's day at big burr state park big uh, or pfeiffer big burr state park big sur state park i don't know where it's at anyway they got trapped at the top of a 40 foot waterfall so like it was treacherous getting up there and they weren't safe to go back down the way they came in and they had no communication no cell phone no nothing and so what they did was they etched on a nalgene bottle help and put a note inside smart and put it down the waterfall smart and someone down the river saw the water bottle and pulled it out opened it up got the message in a bottle and they life flight they had to go in with a helicopter and get them that's crazy a message in a bottle always works always <laughs> works so like <laughs> that's like a we could die up here yeah Let's no, that would be a really, this. really, really good Nalgene commercial. It would. Oh, wouldn't it? How on earth have well, they not already made a commercial? I say Nalgene. That? It could have been, you know, there's tons of different ones. Oh, right. and Annie had, a, um, I'll put it up here. It had a, this is a picture of my iPad screen, not us. Um, I guess that won't work. Um, they they had a picture of them with a, uh, it's, it's coming up now. Okay. Now it should work. Bloop. This is the where the helicopter came and saw them. They also had this SOS. Oh my goodness! Down on that's them. actually a really good how they put that behind the backdrop. Oh yeah, they used a tar- like they, they did a Smart. good job of of uh, of letting them know. But here was the here was the bottle. If, if it scrolls up in a second, um, yeah, here's the bottle. We are stuck here at the waterfall. Get help, please. I think it would have been on better if check- he would have. It's a his wife. I think was a waitress, and it was on a. It would have been better, slips. don't you think? If they would have specified, like we are stuck here on top of the waterfall, get help, please. Like, uh, well, they they would have. How would they known that they were on they top that, of it? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Anyways, um, that's incredible and very very cool. Super funny. Where's Big Sur at again? I have no. Also, no idea. so that sign that said "Save Our sh- SOS." Yeah, that stands for "Save Our Ship," correct? Yeah, but which it's, it's a distress it's signal. Interesting because they're not on a ship. You should put it back to us though. No, I know, I know, but it's, obviously it's like the universal. It's the universal thing. The universal thing, yeah, that's really crazy. So that's I really meant cool. I meant to mention that last week, but Bill had sent that to me, and uh, I was like, oh my gosh, saved by a message in a bottle. But yeah, life or death, that's what they did. That's incredible. So, oh man, I uh, spent about seventy-five percent of today. Yeah. And uh, I needed to get a different TV for my living room. Oh, yeah. And I went to... Needed, the, huh? The, I did. Why? Uh, Because I wanted to put the TV in my living room in the studio. Oh, yeah. To kind of improve our... Um, Visibility. Quality. Visibility, yeah. And it has improved it. It has improved it significantly. Like tenfold. <laughs> it's fan- phenomenal. It is. Um, But uh, I drove to Best Buy. Actually, first I went to Walmart for my Esposa. She needed me to get a little something for her. Yeah. Then I went to Best Buy. Looked at TVs, looked around, found a decent deal, grabbed one, took it home. An 80-inch. 80 80 85, 8K. no big deal. 8K, yeah. 8K, OLED, 8K. Yeah. Um, and unwrap it, get everything ready, take it into the living room, get ready to start hanging it. And Andy says, um, did you look at the TV? I'm like, what do you mean to look at the TV? <laughs> and I look down at the side of it and there's probably like a six inch giant splintered crack all along the TV. And you didn't want that? Uh, that's the worst. It was, it was miserable. So I was like, dang, I have to drive all the way back now. I, you know, I've and actually it's not had that happen short from drive. a Best Buy before. Have you? Oh yeah. Best Buy, get your stuff together. I mean, it was an dang. old like CRT. Fix your packaging. But it had cracked the entire top right corner i think yeah. it was and just smashed the screen in God. it was bad and to be fair it could have been damaged before it got the best buy yes oh for sure yeah but still super annoying so drink from a sweatshop in china best buy. i'm like hey guys let's how do you feel about styrofoam super cracked wow uh, i hate styrofoam <laughs> i hate styrofoam so much 
<laughs> so now I have two boxes from, <laughs> from the second TV, all the styrofoam still filling up my garage. I hate styrofoam so much, but I'm going to melt it. I decided. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Like, I'm not going to go burn it in the fire pit, but I'm going to get either a bunch of acetone, which apparently it'll just like dissolve it quickly. Okay. If it's concentrated enough. Or I think you can do gasoline too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then light that on fire. Got a little napalm situation going yeah. on there. Yeah. A little <laughs> campfire, chilling by the campfire. <laughs> Those fumes are super good for you, all natural. A good old gasoline fight accident. Good old gasoline. <laughs> Dude, you know where they need to start, you know, spraying stuff with some napalm? Where? Um Massachusetts, <laughs> sir. Well, Massachusetts. Wait, wait, wait. Really? Yeah. Where'd you think I where, where <laughs> Well, I'm just trying to figure out why you want to Napalm, Massachusetts. Yeah. Um, because they have like deadly lethal mosquito situation going on right now. Oh, I did see something about this. Yeah, they need to napalm those suckers. They are killing people right now, legitimately. With what? So there's this viral infection that used to be more prevalent along amongst like deer and horses. Okay. But s- for some reason, the virus, they're not exactly sure what's going on, but in some way it must be mutating or it's becoming more virulent and it's starting to infect humans and it's infecting more humans. But the problem is it's not only infecting more humans, but it's causing more human fatalities. So within the past several months of this year, over 10 people have died from this mosquito bite. What? Yeah. From between uh, Michigan or yeah, between um, Massachusetts and Rhode Island. Wow. Yeah. Um, it's called, for those of you out there that are thinking about, you know, all the DEET and information pertaining to this, it's called the Eastern Equine Encephalitis is the, uh, is the virus. The Eastern Equine Encephalitis. Dang. So usually what happens is it's when it infects um, horses or other large mammals, usually it's not spread off of those larger mammals from like other mosquitoes that then suck their blood mm-hmm. um, because usually the viral count can't get high enough when it's in a larger mammal. Like the immune system just doesn't allow it to replicate. So usually gotcha. the ends on that infected uh, individual. But for some reason, these mosquitoes are carrying the virus still and Weird. it's high enough count that it's infecting humans and it's the immune system's having enough difficulty handling it that's killing people right now i don't like flying random things to carry diseases oh i agree so (laughs) have we talked about (laughs) the study i saw with mosquitoes no already no and maybe so (laughs) okay you guys all heard about the butterfly effect right yes you the movie well the movie is a great one or the situation in which a butterfly flaps its wings and then on the other side of the earth, you know, a tornado, like a, a tornado starts. starts because of that. Cascading events, basically. Yeah. Cascading series of events. It's a zombie effect. So, biologists and different ecosystem science experts have done re- a lot of research into mosquitoes. Okay. And trying to decide... Imagine making that your entire career. How important <laughs> mosquitoes are to the ecosystem. This is actually Ooh. a really good study, Okay. And that's fascinating. They were trying to decide if mosquitoes were erased or, you know, completely uh, exterminated from yes. all species types and subtypes of mosquitoes. Okay. Would toast would then, you know, the species that feeds on them, would they die? And then would the species that feed on them, they die. Oh, like fish. Yeah. yeah fish or bats or birds, um, other, you know, predators to the mosquito. Yeah. Or is it, does a mosquito, you know, like, it, is it somehow pollinating something or is it preventing something? And uh, so they found... Definitely they found, we did not talk about they this. Found, really? This is such... Uh, this is one of my favorite studies I've seen. So they found three really interesting things about it. Right. Um, Go. I am super... First, angry. the mosquito... If you completely eradicated the mosquito, it would not, as far as their research goes, it would not end in the, the death of any species what the amount of sustenance that other species find from mosquitoes is so minimal because of their low size and weight yeah it would not actually cause the death or eradication of any species outside of a single flower that is found only in a lot the northern portions of alaska 
They believe that these mosquitoes could help with the pollination of that single flower. Other than that, no species need them. <laughs> now, the flip side to this situation. Do we play God? Mosquitoes do not provide life. However, interestingly and morbidly, do mosquitoes help with preventing oh, life? Yeah. Yeah. And overpopulation in certain areas was kind of the interesting flip side of the study. Did they study that? They did. Ah, yes. Go so, on. So <laughs> certain regions especially, they believe, um, <laughs> have not been populated and have been good for the overall health of the planet because of mosquitoes, i.e. Oh. the Amazon. Yes. One of the main reasons, especially early on before they had a lot of this uh, insecticides and protection against them, right. one of the main reasons it wasn't colonized and populized was because of the bugs because of the bugs because of the mosquitoes so the amazon was protected in part by the overgrowth of these massive gnarly mosquitoes that would make life miserable for the developers what (sighs) so they actually isn't that the best study in the world prevent us yeah and not only us but obviously in africa like one of the main in africa and the you know even in, I don't, I don't think it's in South America that I'm aware of, but it, no, no, maybe it is. Malaria is malaria in South America. I don't know. Well, anyhow, um, the spread of disease. One of the greatest killers in the world is mosquitoes, mm-hmm. because of the number of communicable diseases they spread. And they've found, like in in Africa, like a significant portion of deaths is because of mosquitoes. So it's like That's these certain wild. populations have been struggling yeah to keep humans alive because of mosquitoes so it's like maybe it's the planet's ecosystem defense against humans and that kind of an interesting yeah concept i think it's fascinating and scary how i wonder yeah. if, so anyway if they were my just like uh, let's all take a vote and just pull the plug on mosquitoes like how would they get rid of them okay so Really cool NPR. Yeah, there was a well. This was a different one, but I listened to this NPR series, and they were talking about you. You really need. Oh, was it like a Radio Lab? Right. And they were talking I do about love Radio Lab. Um, these scientists who grew um, male mosquitoes in a lab, mm-hmm. and these male mosquitoes. When they mated with female mosquitoes, it made them um, infertile. It made their yeah. It made their it made them infertile, and then something else, and then eventually like eventually like caused their death or something like that. What? Or or, or when they mated with other individuals, it, it made was them a really infertile bad too. Night. So basically, like it, I can't remember all the details exactly, but basically it was by genetically you know modifying these mosquitoes when they bred with other mosquitoes, it caused the other mosquitoes to start dying weird so they're starting to utilize these in portions of uh, like south america i heard or yeah. they're trying different colony studies to see what effects they have on the mass population of the mosquitoes weird super cool way it's because it's better than spreading chemicals hey let's just mess with these mosquitoes yeah. genes you know maybe that's what something's doing to us maybe the government you want to talk about <clears throat> that deep state yeah. oh, right there buddy Jeez. yeah <laughs> <laughs> and maybe not to us but i mean maybe to somebody yeah oh yeah i think so yeah. i mean is the Short of like they've admitted doing it to other countries, like oh, let's give you this vaccine and then you're right. dying. Right, or yeah. like or like going to Afghanistan. CIA does this all the time. They hire healthcare workers to go give vaccines to people. Oh yeah, and then as they're giving Wasn't vaccines, that, like, they're collecting it was Hillary data. Hillary Clinton that had like released and said, "Yeah, we yeah. did this." Yeah, well, that was how. No, that was how they found uh, Osama bin Laden. Okay, they used they were all these different healthcare workers volunteers for these ngo organizations non-governmental organizations and they were going (laughs) funded by the government funding by the government right they were giving vaccines to the local population in pakistan Mm. and they through you know different connections and different resources they were able to find like this is where osama's staying basically weird boom took him out weird yeah dropped it like it's, a, it's hot it's a crazy and dropped world. him in the ocean because he was too hot crazy world that we live in oh so deep fakes Ooh, i love deep fakes i know 
I I saw a quick snippet today where a guy was talking about how quickly they are progressing. So for those of you who don't know what deep fakes are, they are a video and audio reproduction of another person that is not them doing it right. and like faking it. So like the, you see it done in the movies, like when they bring in an actor or something like that. Yeah. Sometimes it looks too real, doesn't look human enough. But this guy was saying that he he is predicting that deep fakes will be indistinguishable from the person that you know within six to 12 months. That seems really soon. Yeah. And he said it will be, it is something that will be available to most of the population. So like, what does that change? What does that change? I guess, does that mean any time a, a, pers- a person has a recording of you from here, from that point forward, we're just going to be like, eh, it might be real, might not. Never going to know. Yeah, I don't know. Like, does I it mean, like, decrease the validity of videos now? I think it will do similar to what happened with like pictures. Like there's different forensics you need to do mm-hmm. to figure it out. It'd be easy to figure out if the video was credible or not based on the tagging of it and stuff. Cause most stuff now you could tell, I suppose you could, you could spoof those tags too. But like if I take a picture with my phone, it says what kind of phone took it. Like right. All that metadata is in that video. Right. Um, if that wasn't there, you but might if you're think, able eh. to deep fake a video, then you'll probably be able to mess with those tags. Yeah, you might be able to deep fake meta as well, but I would imagine. But yeah, it's it's just kind of a it's a weird world that we're moving I, into. I imagine it will be eventually a point where, like, on our iPhones, we'll be able to say something, maybe oh, just like record yeah. something, and then it'll populate a video, like it like already does with the kind of like animated the, yeah, characters, the, the frogs like the, the and chickens, and you know? Like yeah, yeah. Well, I sent you that one that was like Joe Rogan's face and it was my voice with him, but it was still moving to me. And it was, no. and it was, it was, Wait, yeah, I did. And it was pretty choppy. <laughs> yeah. I did. It was months and months and months. Oh, okay. Then probably. It was pretty choppy and everything, but that was just like someone's like very bad attempt at making deep fake real time. You know? Oh, okay. So, but if, as that progresses, like the way that faces are scanned and everything, it, yeah, people will have it. I, I don't think the guy's super far off. It might be like another year, but, um, I mean, what is the, okay, this is what I'm thinking. Research into something like that. Like what are, why would it be incentivized to do it? Like I can't in my mind wrap, I can't wrap my mind around what the advantages would be. Like why is it good? What good would come from I don't know that anything like good has to. I think if people are, a lot of times technology are created just to like kind of prove that they could do it. Like there maybe isn't a purpose yet, um, but. I don't know. I mean, you think it could be used for good. I mean, it, it, say we went into like a crazy state of war and the president needed to make a state of address, but they didn't, they couldn't <laughs> record him, didn't want him to do it. And he pre-approved a speech and it did it. That'd be kind of weird. Yeah, that would. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, so, you know, speaking of deep fakes and protection and all that stuff, um, I saw that you were looking at the uh, really cool, the new credit card, Dude, three yeah. digit changer. Did, did you the, see it the, at all? The CVV. Yeah, yeah, love it so so much. It's and, and so I, I don't know exactly how does it. Is it a thing actually, or how does it work? Or? It's it's becoming a thing. So this has been a thing. We talked about this a little bit when David was on, and we talked about internet security. So um, there's different levels of security, and one of them is like something that you know is like your password. Something that you have would be your credit card. Mm-hmm. Um. But the problem with that is that that credit card information is not just unique to it until now. So we have um, in in the IT world and you give someone access to something remotely, you can give them either a key fob or you can there's an application that you sync up with a server and it gives out every minute a new number. And so what they do is they log in, they have a username. So it's, you know, something that they know they, their password is something that they know. And then they put in this this number and it's something that they have and it's synced up every minute with the server that number changes well this credit card is doing the same thing like two-factor authentication do you have to charge your credit card or how does it no it would most of those things have um either a like two five or ten year life oh really that battery yeah because it just has a it generates a number based on an algorithm I think for the credit card, it's every four hours. So that wouldn't be that often that that number would change and it would stay static. So it, I would I would think it, 
most credit cards like a watch end, most credit cards end in four years or something like that anyway and they so, usually send you a new one every so many years yeah yeah so this cvv number on the credit card now it, and i think it was such was a it, good idea was it chase or i think it was chase yeah i think it was chase that that had it and it changes every four hours so the the thing about a credit card is it could be skimmed there's that's very common in states where you don't pump your own gas like oh, i ours. think it might have been big america actually um yeah that sounds right where people skim the numbers off the card because people don't know this but or the, some people do, but some people don't realize how open it is. But the the card information, not not the chip, but the the mag strip that we all still mostly have, is can be read by a tape recorder, like an old right. old school tape so recorder. Crazy. You can like pull that number off. So people build these little devices that with these free little SIM cards, and some of them have little scanners in them or cameras, and they take a picture of that CVV. And they skim the credit card information with your name and everything. And sometimes some of those mag strips contain even like the, some of them don't include the address, but they can include up to a certain amount of things. And then it just texts that to the person and they have it. But with this system, even if your card got skimmed four hours from then, your card would be safe because that number would change. Right. But I mean, I guess the, the, the style of the game would change then. Yeah. Like if everybody across the board, I think it should be like every like every five minutes or every like why? why like I think it's just a test. So like there's they're starting out. This is is this something new that they haven't done? They're fitting this tiny technology into a credit card depth. Um, and I, you know, it's funny that it's happening at a time where that kind of card will probably become not the norm mm-hmm. very soon. Yeah. Um, but it's on the way out. Like it caught. They spend a ton of money in fraud every year right insuring um that kind of stuff um you know my sister had someone knew all of her information and called up usaa and got as far as who was your teacher in third grade and they couldn't answer the question but they still convinced her bank to send to overnight oh, them no. a debit card to her savings account and nothing happened. Like they ended up calling her and they were like, we, they called from her number. They spoofed her number calling in did all this kind of stuff. And That's they, amazing. Knew, they knew everything. Um, yeah. People are, people are desperate to. That's crazy. That kind of stuff. Yeah. So anyways, I, I feel like, yeah, it's a cool, it's a cool security idea. Is, is a big deal, but it's For terrifying it. also at the same time. Did you, Ugh. okay. So Amazon love them or hate them. I know that you love them. You're I've, in the, you're I've dabbled in the, with. I, I don't love them, but I really i use i use yeah, them a lot. Yeah, you, you like the the convenience. Yeah, and it's i i would I'm right there with you. Yeah, um, I'm a little upset that them and pretty much every large company don't pay any taxes. Sure, and yeah, I think that they should. Super, um, super duper deal. For but them. did you see that this week they placed a large order themselves? And it funny, oh, funny enough, is yeah. not a two day. Ship a shipment. <laughs> did um, were they doing the trucks right? Yeah, so they bought a hundred thousand Rivian delivery trucks, which is crazy. So it's well, it, and those they, those are just electric trucks. Yeah, they are. They're electric delivery vans, um, and they're they're set to to beat like France had. I think it's France had like a set in place a, a lower emissions or no emissions oh, okay. by a certain date, and yeah. they're going to beat it by a decade. Amazon is yeah. Yeah, don't pick with that too. That's much. incredible. Pick with that spring. Oh, you can't. You can't hear. You can't. Hear. Oh, I can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fidgeter. Jordan doesn't like fidgeting. Um, so that's a big boost for Rivian, then. Yeah. And well, they were one of the. They were one of the biggest supporters. Um, well, well, they're not semis, so Tesla hasn't said they're doing semi trucks. No, I mean I thought they te- are. Tesla but, is, I but thought. these are not. De- Tesla hasn't said anything about delivery vans, though. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's true. But Rivian's um, been doing some of the bigger things. Well, they had a pretty nifty. Can you pull it up, actually, Rivian? The yeah, I want to show people truck. The, the truck, the pickup, the truck, is the pickup. Pretty, I like the look of the pickup. It's pretty. Sick. It's almost like so. It kind of looks like a futuristic Chevy Colorado. I would say like it's a small, it's a midsize style pickup. It has this cool um, storage space in between the back seat and the and the uh, pickup bed um, that. Basically, it's kind of like this, and it goes from one end all the way through to the other side of the truck. So it's like can, this little tunnel. Pull it up. Um, yeah, there it is. 
and I like the I like the wheels on it. I like that the light headlight that goes wraps around yeah. from the front. The calipers look rad. Yeah, the brakes, mm-hmm. brake calipers. They've got kind of a they've got a handles that are Tesla esque. Like yeah, right. Shaved kind of. The bed is so. Did you see that back compartment behind the back door? That oh opens. yeah. Oh, it doesn't. And it goes all the way through to the other side, so it opens on both sides. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, which is really cool. Oh yeah, right there. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> But what I'm not a fan of is their starting price is like eighty, s- yeah, like seventy five or Golly. something like that, which is it's that's a that's a steep starting price. Yeah, you know, I mean, although if you looked at, I mean, it, it is. I, I would totally agree with you. But the new car market is bonkers. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a good point. Like pickup pickups. Oh, gas pickups are like sixties, like the starting. Yeah, I don't even get it. Like, okay, I it's cool and all, but like that's that's a bit much yeah oh yeah that's a, that's a, a bit lot yeah not much yeah i don't know if maybe like the next depression or something like that because i remember during like two two nine yeah. two ten pickup prices were pretty low were they yeah i remember but i was you know just graduating undergrad and i had like no money or anything yeah you, like that. you weren't no i had i think maybe five thousand to my name if that <laughs> maybe three maybe two um but yeah, the and also when I was in high school, I remember there was a big hike in oil prices. Yeah. And I remember my dad, you know, like golly, freaking out. It was like four bucks, a, you know, a gallon. Like the prices then were more expensive than oh, they yeah. are right now. I, I remember. Um, yeah, it was nuts. It was, was nuts. Like, oh my gosh, what is. But I remember pickups and like larger vehicles, larger SUVs, like the value of them dropped significantly. Yeah. Yeah, well, if there's not people to buy them, but I don't know. At this point, like, I don't. I am. I'm so ready. And some people are going to be mad about this, but I'm so ready to see oil go away. Yeah. Well, and I, I know it's in okay, so many things. I, this is like, where I would disagree. I'm ready to see oil go away from vehicles. Yeah. And yeah. That's, that's where that's, I'm ready. That's for what it I'm to go saying. I, 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 I think it's a, a great resource for. All of our, I mean, plastics and clothes. But even that can be made from other things. Like hemp plastics are arguably better. Like yeah, I'm not too. I'm not too familiar with hemp plastics. Yeah, I don't know too much about those. But do you know much about hemp plastics? I don't know a ton about it. I just know that it's it's it's. I don't know if it's actually to be true. more biodegradable. And I've had things that are made from it. Plastics though, I never even like. I've never seen or heard of hemp plastic. <laughs> Scott Sincresti says, "Oh, next depression, so like a month out." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 seriously. <laughs> touche, touche, Scott. It feels like that. It kind of feels like that right now, doesn't it? Uh, Does I don't, I don't know. I, if I feel like it's like a like it's been so like plateaued. Yeah, yeah. I, but I don't know. I don't. I don't know that I've been following a lot. I know Bitcoin's up. Bitcoin, it, but it seems like Bitcoin is usually the inverse of the stock market. It's true. When the stock market has a, a dip, Bitcoin has a rise. When the Bitcoin, the Bitcoin was at its lowest when the stock market was at its highest this past year. Yeah, there's some other complicated reasons as to why that was, but yeah, I yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't feel like it's like eminent, but I wouldn't be shocked. Yeah, let's say that. Dude, speaking of crashes. Um, Uh-oh. kind of a sad situation, but I heard about this. Um, well, I read about it, I guess I should say, um, I'm trying to find the specific comment about it, but I don't think where to go. Which link was it? On? Um, it was about this, uh, Russian. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. Um, this there is was... not in your notes then. No, it is. It is. Oh, it is. Yeah. Um, in 1986, there was this uh, pilot. Okay. Um, his name was Alexander Klyuv, and he made a bet with his co-pilot that he could land the airplane using only instruments. Um, do, so uh, basically, it's an instrument-only approach with oh. the with the curtain with the cockpit curtained, like the windows were curtained, and and thus you know what? having no visual contact with the ground. This is in 1986. Oh my gosh! And on that day. 70 people died. <laughs> like so sad. The plane crashed. It's so sad. And 70 people died. Why am I laughing? It's sad. It's, like, it's terrible, but it's, it's like... It's terrible. Wait, it's like... What? Wait, you don't expect that to be hold, like... Oh, hold my beer here, while hold my I beer. kill all these people. Hold my beer. 
Yeah, that that seems like a total hold my beer it situation. It is totally a hold my beer situation. I, I read I that. And I was just like, what? No I got way. This. And then I, I looked it up. This. And it's that. Yeah, it was true. It actually happened. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so speaking of crashes, I just need to throw it out. Uh, throw that out there. So. Yeah, it wasn't. It was in your TIL section. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah. This is pretty absurd. Yeah. Um, absurd things done. And this, this is another area that's like a hot button for me. But... Um, this artist, I I think he did this a few weeks ago as well, or maybe a few months ago, but he dropped an 800 pound spoon, like cocaine spoon or whatever, in the front of one of the big pharmacies or pharmaceutical companies, because like his brother has been battling addiction and all that. And he's like, you guys make these pills and you're not regulated enough. And so he, as art, made a giant what? drug spoon with like fake powder look like no it's like fake melted stuff in it and just wheeled it up and dropped it on their front porch that's amazing yeah that's, he has, that's art right there he has three um do you have a picture of done. it yeah uh yeah give me also a after you get that once you show the picture of the um iceland's uh like prime minister dude or whatever his name was dude okay that's hilarious <laughs> yeah or um, ireland, ireland ireland that's what yeah. it was it was the um, ireland's um president yeah so here it is protester oh. dropped 800 pound opioid spoon Oh my gosh, in front of Johnson and Johnson headquarters. And if you look close, it actually is etched on the handle. We'll put a link to this because That's there's so some other cool. like more intense pictures, but um it says each one was made specially for the different companies that he put it in front of to bring awareness to the fact that they're not being regulated the way that they should be and that they're pushing these drugs. 800 pounds. Yeah, I was thinking you'd want it to be incredibly heavy because oh, if, yeah. if it was really light, they would get it he off. He wheeled it there on like um, like heavy wheel movers and then just like popped it off the sleds. Must have had a lot of people help him real quick. It looked like he had like three people. That's that it. is so cool. That's a really cool picture. Yeah, I liked it. it. But that's another hot button for me. I think those companies need to be sued into oblivion. <sighs> yeah, it's interesting. I, I For yeah, the way I that they've I pushed them. Yeah, they uh, well the thing is, is they haven't. It's like last they, year's they drug it, for terminal like, patients like, gets given like, to people today. It was like the weird thing is it was like fifteen, seventeen years ago when that oh, you was all going on. Now. Like so, it's definitely it's definitely been a while since that was allowed and integrated. But yeah, that's a crazy crazy thing. Yeah, um, yeah pull up the yeah, I'm find sure it. this the picture. Um, Ireland's president looks like Danny DeVito playing Bernie Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> i saw this and i was like oh my gosh it was at the top of reddit for multiple days like it's the really the perfect blend of danny devito it is yeah oh for sure it's that's hilarious it's, the white the white oh yeah what is that called is that does that have a name when when old men have i call it the larry david hair on just the very top of their head but then they have their it's like back ear muff, back muffs. I don't understand. It should be called back head muffs. I don't understand the allure of BH, of continuing BHMs. to grow that back head muff. Just this the like, head muff. Let's call it a head muff. A head muff. That's good. So it's not an ear muff. It. It's a head muff. Yeah, but I don't understand the allure of doing that. Like it just, I don't know. I mean, it's a free country, but right. I'm like not why? A why commit to that? Like why yeah. hold it? I, I think about that the same way that I I kind of do about people that commit to a mullet. Mm. Okay. It's like, okay. Well, the thing I with mean, the mullet can... is you're, you don't have, you have, you're in complete control with the mullet. This, you're not in control. True. You don't or have you, control of the Although you can play loss. the listen to your elders card with this look. Yeah, that's true. With, yeah. the, with the mullet, you're just, you're given, you, you have so many stereotypes against you. Yeah. At that point. In some ways and at some points, uh, mullet was cool, dude. The Euro mullet. Was it ever? Euro mullet. For sure, it was it was it was the thing for a hot second, man. Really? Euro, yeah, European mullet. The problem is for is a it, hot second. We're talking like twenty twelve. Unless you maintain a mullet yeah. all the time, uh huh. By the time they're popular, you do not have enough time to wear one. <laughs> that defends. Unless like, like, you like, it's over. You 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 have to catch on early. Yeah, you have to catch on early for sure. Right, and like you, the man bun. True, man bun takes. However long, grow your hair all the way out, yeah. right? I saw a video. It was like this guy that had an assistant walking around with him, telling him all the things to do that were trendy. And he was about to walk into a meeting. And she's like, oh. <clears throat> and hands him a pair of scissors. And he goes, man buns aren't. Not they, trendy. They're anymore. not trendy anymore. He goes, okay. 
and walked into the meeting. Like he just had like a like a PR person. Oh, it'd be funny if he wasn't actually cut. He was like, oh no, it's just clip on. <laughs> like, takes clip well, on. they did have those too. Right, right, like, yeah. I remember but, those, which is a ingenious invention. Yeah, I don't know if I would say genius, but <laughs> well, it, it was an invention. It was ingenious in the fact that they were able to catch onto a trend. True. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was. Pretty, oh. pretty clever. <laughs> pretty witty, one might say. Witty, witty, so so witty. Yeah. Um, dude, I, uh, I just got shower thoughts. I don't know if you got anything else you want to hit on. Okay. Throw so, out there. Uh, one thing I will say. Yeah. I, I have. I'm kind of an Apple fan. Okay. Yeah. Um. So if you something that's really cool. Oh, you're talking about you talked about the new phone. I am. So I, ha- I have the new phone. I, I picked it up, Friday, ish. Yeah. Friday. Did they deliver or did you pick it up? I picked it up. Okay. I had to find one um, because they got delayed somewhere else. Gotcha. So I found it in town. Um, and super, super cool. It's a new color. Yeah. It's actually green. It's like a green, like dark they call army it, green. They call it midnight green and it's got these crazy cameras with wide angle stuff. But that's not actually going to say. I went back and was watching the keynote because I love to watch the keynote and just how they present and it's, it's interesting. Yeah. If anything, sometimes it's boring and I'll just... I found this year it was way nicer. They actually do tag the different sections so you can go watch the stuff about Apple Watch. You can go watch the stuff about this. But they had this whole section because the Apple Watch this year, it's, it's called the Series 5. Series 4 was last year. Makes sense. But it didn't really change anything except for the screen is always on this year. That's it. So it didn't... Um, Wait, what's that mean? So they didn't update the processor and update the RAM. They just, oh, okay. The screen is always on, so it's like a watch. So they the the screen can adjust down to one hertz. Oh, okay. Up to six. So is your battery drain faster with that? No, they got they attain they attain the same amount of battery and everything. But it's it's the same watch as last year. It just has this new screen, and if you can get them in different colors or something like that. So I wasn't as excited about that. But they played this thank you video. People that had submitted, they they went out. They kind of recruited people or you know asked for feedback on some of their emergency features because the apple watch last year started testing eegs right, yeah. it also had fall detection so if older people or anyone really fell and it sensed that you weren't moving anymore right it would contact the nine a 911 person and give them your location and it would also text anyone that was in your emergency contacts from your phone that you had fallen, that you were immobile, and it would text them the location to find them. And so I was like, this is this is kind of cool. Like there was these videos of saying, That's huge. telling their story real short. Just like I was having heart issues and the Apple Watch like warned me before I knew and sent me to the hospital. Um, this emergency, like I, you know, this elderly person like fell and was immobile couldn't get a hold of anyone and their hmm. life was saved because of it and it's like some of it was like kids talking about their parents having wow. survived and everything so i saw this article today where a guy posted up a picture of his dad in the er in his cracked apple watch and his bruised face and he said he was supposed to be meeting him for lunch and he was running late and he couldn't get a hold of him find my dad and he got a text saying that his dad had been injured and sent him the location. So he was right by there where it was right by where they were going to meet. What? And he drove to where it told him. And when he got there, it said your dad's location has updated and it was the hospital. What? So he goes to the what? hospital and finds his dad, the watch. He had fallen on his bike and knocked himself out on a road, like a steep road, tumbled, got knocked out. The watch dialed 911, gave him his location, sent out to his son and his other emergency contacts that he had been hurt in his what? location. And the ambulance came and picked him up before his son could get there, took him to the hospital. Wait, 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 so the watch called 911? Yes. Before? While like, texting of them. Its own, of its own? Yes. Of its own if you don't choosing, stop it, and it, senses, said, and it senses that you've fallen. Yeah. And it do, so it's, that feature is on by default, I think, if you're over 60. Amazing. So because it knows Amazing. your birthday, you can go in and turn it on. Like mine's on, and if you fall and are immobile, it will alert you that it's going to do it. And you have a certain amount of time to hit a button to stop it. And then d- does the so if you if it okay here's the question, but isn't that okay? Do so, you have to have the? Here's what I wondered though. Yeah. Do you have to have the data plan for no. for that to call nine one one? No, because it would call through your phone. Well, not it beca- everybody it, that has an iWatch has an iPhone. They do have to. 
you have to have an iPhone to pair with it. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it has to hopefully be within yeah, Bluetooth if it, if it, distance? If it wasn't in range of your phone or Wi-Fi. Which would be Bluetooth? Or Wi-Fi. What that would be? Yeah, it would be Bluetooth for your phone. Okay. Or Wi-Fi. If you, whatever Wi-Fi your phone's ever connected to, your watch can connect to as well. Um, yeah, but most people would like have it in their bag or something like that if they were out for a long ride or something. Interesting. Um, but how wild is hmm. that? That's that super the, wild. That the ambulance beat him to beat the guy to his dad and had already picked him up. His dad was out cold until halfway to the hospital, apparently. Are you serious? Yeah. So 911 like says, hey, what's your emergency? What does Siri say? I there don't, is I a have, patient. I have no idea. You need but to come could, help. It could send location, though. I think remotely. That's trippy. You got to wonder what the 911 dispatcher is like, how they address that know. call. It's pretty wild. Though, Whoa. Isn't it? Super wild. Super cruel. Super cool. Yeah. Super crazy. Curious how that works, though. Yeah. But you'll have to watch the videos. It, it's, it's it's actually pretty, like. That's cool. Well done, Apple. Pretty Good emotional job, guys. To watch, but. Dang. So I thought that was cool. It was That's cool that cool. They, they shared that with people. Um, so, yeah. Awesome possum. Ooh, I said that a lot tonight. Awesome possum. I don't know why. You like possums? Well, I don't know. Not really. Possums yeah. eat a lot of bugs. Yeah. Yeah. They also have like really, really, really bad diseases. Okay. Oh, okay. So other and one other thing I was going to, I was actually going to bring up and then we can go straight into shower thoughts is something I had not thought about. I saw this, um, I think it's a, it's like a retweet, um, and this guy said, while making $35 billion in profit, GM, says there was like a strike, has cut off health insurance to its striking workers. Do you like working in a society where if you speak back for better conditions, your employer can say, we will deny life needed medicine and kill you, your spouse, and your children? <sighs> it's a, it's, that's a good question, right? So there, that's man. a little... That's a good question, brother. It's a little obviously like ramped up in its uh, delivery, but it's a... Th- it's something right. to it's think a little about obviously one-sided. because we have this this privatized health care that is most of the time provided by them. And it's different if you try to get it on your own. If you ever try to get like dental insurance or health insurance on mm. your own, it's much different. It's usually much more expensive. Um, but we live in the society where that's one of the problems. Here's my here's my thoughts. Well, I have something in my eye. Yeah, I noticed you've been really it's like poking at him. So I think if you're looking at a capitalistic kind of economy, um, I think it depends on the du- a couple of factors. One, the duration that the workers are on strike. Mm-hmm. So if these workers are or on strike. Or what it's for. Or what it's for, maybe, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. If it's for something that's frivolous and like absurd, like the workers want a, you know, $10 $100, more an hour. $100 hour more raise, you know, yeah. and they want... You know, and they're and they're on strike for three years. Yeah, I forgot I have one more thing. Before, you know, a crazy amount of time. <laughs> then I'd be like, well, no, this 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 it's a free market. They can choose to work there or not work there. Right. They should not be giving them free health insurance for life because they're right. they're but not getting what at they the want. At the same time, if they weren't getting paid, if health insurance was, I str- I struggle to say socialized. That's what it is. Yeah, it, but um, people get all worked up when they hear that because they think it's the same thing as socialism, well, and it's not. You know, but f- f- guys, I mean, come on, fire, fire, so you know, services. Is I, I, where I'm like was looking socialized. at it was like, uh, it would be weird of them to think we should still get paid while doing this, but because of the way that healthcare is set up in our society, which is kind of weird, they are losing that too yeah. when they're not working. Yeah, and that I think I had never thought about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those being tied together. Now, I think it depends on like, yeah, I, I don't know if they can immediately. I don't think that they can immediately um, let health insurance go if it's like, unless they've been. I think what happens is it's after two weeks. I think it's probably after two weeks. Yeah. Probably. But like see, then there, there's some there's some leverage there that I think it's too much that mm. the corporation has. Could be. I don't know. I think, gosh, it's just a a balancing act there for sure but i think it would be nice if there was a form of socialized health care so that you didn't have to worry about your health if you didn't have your job right that's a huge stress that's the other side of that is if you're in between jobs or something like that like that shouldn't be something that you're having you should like i can see like struggling to like keep keep rent and lights on and food yeah but you shouldn't like that is you shouldn't be fearful that debt will overcome the rest of your life if you have a medical issue right without a job yeah 
totally. I would agree. So the other thing that I want yeah. to share before we're going to shower thoughts, because this is almost cooler than shower thoughts. Mm. It's a TIL. Okay. And it's something that I stumbled upon. So excited. And I actually posted Tell as me, a Jordan. TIL link. Tell me right that, now. That got quite a few upvotes. Mm. Because I learned this week. So this was actually a TIL on the day I learned it. Okay. That carrots can explode and catch on fire in the microwave. What? Yes. Catch on fire? I understand the explosion because of the water. They're so it's not because of that. That It will explode because of that. Right. But they will smoke but I don't know why and begin to flame. Some type of metal, high metal content in carrots? So that's what it is. What type of metal? It's selenium and like magnesium heavy metals are in soils because they're in the soil growing leach into them and they're they're There's high more mineral content in carrots and potatoes i would think no, potatoes, see, potatoes can lot. too but a lot of times we steam vent them and all that kind of stuff okay and they could but this week my coworker, she put her her lunch into the microwave and she came back and she's like something is on fire in my lunch and i don't know what it is and there's not much here and i, I looked at her lunch and i was like you're right there's not much in there and it smelled like a campfire. So did you Google carrots catching on fire in microwave? Yeah, we're like, we finally narrowed it down. It has to be the carrots. It can't be anything else. And your chicken's never done this for anybody. And so we Googled it and we looked it up. Sure enough, carrots. Amazing. And it, they were burned, like burning because of that. Like they were arcing. It causes <laughs> arcs just like putting a fork or tin foil in the microwave. It does it inside this freaking carrot. Dude, that's like, hilarious. That's crazy. And it, it's it was... It was. It smelled like fire had been burning. Somebody's hungry. Go ahead and eat yourself a carrot. Yeah. Go ahead and eat yourself an exploding <laughs> carrot once it gets in your tummy. Dude, yeah. that, that actually leads me to my, uh, I don't know, a funny joke that I had thought about. Like so if somebody somebody's like starving and really wants some food, you know, they're really, really hungry. And like, or if they're like really like picky about what they eat, you know, yeah. you'd be like, I always thought it'd be funny. Just tell somebody, oh, just go eat a multivitamin. <laughs> That'll fill you up. Just <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. I don't know why I thought that was so funny. Maybe it's not. But, dude, I was just like, next time, like, my wife. That, no, I did it to my wife the other day. She was like, oh, I'm so hungry. I need some food. And I was like, babe, oh, yeah. babe Scott, go eat. Scott says he's seen he's seen carrots spark. He's, he's we seen, did not see them it. spark. The, these I'm about to go try this dark. out. I'm about to try this yeah, out right it now. Was, it was pretty freaking fantastic yeah. and scary. Um, but so yes. the next time someone tells you they're hungry, go tell them, oh, go eat a multivitamin. I'll yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did that to my wife and she wasn't happy. Here's some lettuce. Yeah. Here's some <laughs> lettuce. All right, dude. First shower thought I'm going to throw out there. It's funny to think that 12 a.m. comes before 11 a.m. That is a little weird. Isn't that kind of cool? It's kind of backwards, but it's true. Yeah. Yeah. Can't argue that one. It's like the ace being a one. And a high right. card. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but it's it, kind of weird. Yeah. <sighs> Getting the first human obese was actually a huge achievement of mankind. <laughs> yeah, it really was. <laughs> it was a huge achievement. <laughs> it was a huge achievement. Yeah, okay. On that note, I'm just going to say real quick here. Interesting thought is how food oh, no. has, we, throughout society, we learned how to have an excess of of food and now we're in a place where we're learning how to diet and be careful with how much food intake we have but the same thing now has come with information and technology we're in a world where we've (laughs) gobbled up enough technology that if we eat too much of it and we concentrate on it too much our heads become obese and our social media intake becomes obese we are actually causes harm so we're trying to learn same way that we did with excess of food same thing we're trying to learn to yeah. compensate and be careful with excess of information and technology we suffer from a disease of excess yep. that's that are the diseases that we have today scott said <laughs> this is actually kind of mind-boggling too this is the first guest submitted shower thought hopefully you're not in the shower right now with your phone if you are um although impressed. i've watched we're impressed if you i are. watch youtube a lot in my oh shower. yeah that's the best um, thing 99 on a microwave is more than 100 Think about it. If you set it like a hundred minutes. So if you set it for a hundred, uh-huh. it will do one minute, which is sixty seconds. But if you do 90, oh, 99 <laughs> seconds. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yeah, that is weird. Well done, Scott. Scott, yeah. was that Scott? Yeah, it was well Scott. done, Scotty. Good, good job. Oh my um, gosh. Did you throw a shout out there? Yeah, you just did. 
Yeah, I did. It's um, you. okay. This was really funny. I was thinking about how gonorrhea <laughs> <laughs> would have been the perfect, perfect name for a diarrhea medication. Yes, it's gonorrhea. Someone missed the mark. On Coming that right one. at you. Yeah. yeah. That would have been perfect. It's like when they were naming fruits and vegetables and they got to orange and they're like, it's orange. <laughs> it's orange. It's called orange. And they're like, okay, well then. But what rhymes with what it? What about this? Nothing. <laughs> Hold up a carrot and be like, oh shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> long pointy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a car. That I Shouldn't need. have gone with that. Or they're naming the vitamins. That's that's one yeah, thing. Yeah, that's I don't get. Like, super weird. Like they thought, Arrangement was They thought there weird. was going to be way more. Yeah, they started. Um, asking, "Are you free tonight?" is an entrapment to an introvert. I was so true. Yeah, it's cruel. That's what it is. Um, so going upstairs two at a time is much faster and not much harder. But <laughs> <laughs> going downstairs two at a time is gambling with your life. Oh, <laughs> like, seriously, I, anytime I, I always go up two stairs at a I time. I do, too. Always go up two stairs. I feel but way more efficient. When I start going down two stairs, I have to really think, concentrate and think I could trip. It has to do with how your knees bend. Yeah. You do really, Like, if our knees bent both ways, two stairs down, super easy. Easier. Yeah, yeah. for sure. If you want to do two stairs down, you could turn around backwards. Be a little weird too, though. That would be also tricky and risky. Yeah, that would also be risky. Have you ever sir? had your knee lock like halfway through a long staircase, <laughs> and it's not ready to bend to get you to the next I'm one? I'm sure I have. Oh my gosh, I can't recall. Horrifying incident, feeling. Yeah, I've, that ge- is. I've, uh, stairs I've, have been, I've been there. Um, fitness trackers are tamagotchis for adults, and the animal to keep alive is yourself. Say it again. Tamagotchi. What's what's or, a tamagotchi? Wait, wait, you know what a Tamagotchi is? No, I don't know what Tamagotchi That's oh. the problem. I don't know what a Tamagotchi is. Okay, so a Tamagotchi, back in the day, was this little egg that you got with an animal on it that you would feed with buttons. Oh, and yeah, stuff. yeah. And you had to keep it alive for a long period yeah, of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I yeah, say, yeah. I didn't think you were that much younger okay, than Okay, that's right. Yeah. I didn't remember Because those were more that, popular. There was different names for those, I think. There were other knockoffs. That was the yeah. first ones, a Tamagotchi. Oh, but so a fitness okay. tracker is a Tamagotchi. Hilarious. And the that's animal so keep funny. alive is, that's the, is you. <laughs> that's perfect. So... Maybe there is no known magic today because in medieval times, witch hunts were so effective. So true. I've really thought about that yeah. before. I've thought like, maybe we just killed all the magic makers. Yeah. Poor Gandalf. <laughs> Poor Gandalf. Poor you Gandalf. shall not pass. <laughs> Poor Gandalf. When a girl says smell this, it is probably something good. When a boy says it, probably not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely don't do it. If a guy ever says yeah. smell this, unless he's holding a candle. True. Or, Although, or incense. Okay, that's incense. still. No, no, no. That is still a coin toss. <laughs> it still can be. It, it can, can be like, be. dude, smell this. Fart, fart candle or something <laughs> yeah, like that. Like, or puke oh my candle. Gosh. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Uh, last shower thought I got thrown out there for y'all is today is the last day. Today going into tonight slash early tomorrow, this weekend, is the last day of summer. In the 2010s. Oh, that's weird. We're all done with 2010s summers. Yeah. After today. Woo! Also, so after this year, I think this is another shower without the head. It, uh, yeah, 2019 will be the last year of our lives with teen in it. Of our lives, yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's sad. Kind of. We had a lot of them, though. Because there's going to be people after us that will never get a teens. <laughs> Right? No, I'm sad. What, what was he sad about? What did we say that was Probably sad? Probably the teens. Or the oh, yeah, maybe that. He said, wait, you do try two at a time down? <laughs> that's <laughs> Legend. A, that's a thing? I've, yeah, I've tried it many times. It, it helps if you hold the railing. Yeah, you ha- railing is definitely necessary. It's, railing is not optional when going two stairs down at a time. <sighs> God, yeah. No, sir. No, thank you. Yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> stairs are... Not fun to fall down. That's all I got, man. You got anything else? Um, let's see. I thought I had some other funny ones in here. Oh, yeah. Here's another one. People who try to save the planet by not having kids give an evolutionary advantage to people indifferent to saving it. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, yeah. sucker. Gotcha, you son of a gun. <laughs> gotcha. Touche. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. That was good. Guys. 
good stuff all good things appreciate you listening to us appreciate you tuning in appreciate you subscribe on testing normal youtube facebook tell us what you like tell us what you don't like email us at testingnormal.com is that right no. testingnormal.com no admin at testing normal. admin at but if you go to testingnormal.com we do have a contact form yeah i mean they can go onto our website though at testingnormal.com right correct yeah and then they there's a email us right there. so yeah. admin at testingnormal.com or just go to our website testingnormal.com tell us what you like tell us what you don't like tell us if you need something tell us if you don't need something yeah want to change something we're here Did. we're here to hear there's something you want us to talk but we're about. also we may not we may not like what you say that's true you can give suggestions we definitely but had several of those yeah we've had some but, odd suggestions yeah but um yeah guys we love you all hope you all have a fantastic week and we'll talk to you all soon all right peace, peace out, out.